Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a really quick, hopefully five minute video on how to thread your eyebrows. This is how I shaped my eyebrows. I followed my natural shape and I just used this to get a nice straight line and nice angles. So all you need is some regular thread. I think Arabic people or Arab people have like some special thicker thread, but I don't know, like I had a Turkish friend that told me I was doing it wrong and stuff. I'm not doing it the traditional way, but um, I don't think. But this is how I do it and this is how I shape my eyebrows. So I've just made a loop and tied the thread together, both ends together like this. You just get it in your hands like this with your thumbs free and you twist it. So I'm rolling my right hand back towards me to get a twist. And now when I move my hands in and out like this, it makes the twist and the thread go side to side. And when your hair gets stuck in there, it plucks it out. And as you can see, it moves in a straight line. So if you're holding it up against your eyebrow, you can pull threads out, um, eyebrows, hairs out <laughs> like this. So all I do, I've already drawn my eyebrows in, which is nice because I want to see the shape that I've got. And I've got some bum fluff in there that you won't be able to see on camera um, because I've been doing it for so long that my hairs just don't grow back anymore. But... I hold the thread up with my left hand, if I'm doing my right eye, I'll need my left hand open and my right hand little because I need the thread to travel towards the head of my brow, if that makes sense. So I'm holding it up here with the knot just at my arch and I'm going to pull or open my right hand. So now I'm just opening my right hand. Open. Open. Oh! Don't pull out your <laughs> eyebrow hair if you can help it. So I'm really sure that you can't see it because unfortunately I just don't have the eyebrows to show you anymore. But that's how I do it. And I do above my brow. People say don't, but what the hell? You don't want like feral hair above your brow. You know? Just do it. It's a stupid rule and there's nothing wrong with doing it that I've ever experienced. Um, the left side is harder because I'm right-handed, but you just do the same thing. Yeah, I find it really hard to control my left hand. And as for the pain factor, it just feels like little prickles to me. Sometimes it can make your eyes water, but um, I'm fine with it. This just makes really clean eyebrows. You know, like perfect. And then you can also go here on the inner part, but um, my hair, brow my brows are so sparse in there, I usually just use a tweezer set. And you can also go in on your mono if you've got one, and I've got bum fluff in there, so we will do this. When I do this on my mum, hair goes everywhere. <laughs> Not necessarily in there, I mean like on her brows, because she always wants me to do it. And she comes up and visits me at my house like once a month or once every two months. And I always have to do her brows and there's just so much. Um, if you've got hair there, this is a good way to do it. Because it's like plucking the hairs out lots at a time instead of waxing. Because when you wax, as you know, you get like red marks from where the skin comes off. But this is nice because it's like um, plucking. So I put my tongue under there. And do the same thing. But it really hurts there like more sensitive. So everyone, that's how I shaped my eyebrows. Um, as for the shape, as I said, I just went along with my natural shape, which was very similar. But I prefer having a thicker part here at the top and then a thinner part there. And the, um, the angle of the eyebrow, where the arch is, should be if you put your, you know, something like this through, from your nose through your eye, it should be about you know, a nice angle following up that way. So that might give you an idea, but as I said, it should be thicker down here and then thinner out the end. Some people like really thick full eyebrows, but I prefer mine to be just nicely groomed somewhere in between. Well, I hope this video helped you guys. You've been asking me for a while, and if you want... I mean, I don't know how more in-depth I can go than that, but if that didn't answer your questions, let me know, and maybe I'll try to find someone that will let me film how I did it on them. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.